To begin your Alex registration process, please make sure that you have the following items. You will need paper, a pen or pencil, so you can write important information down and eventually be able to take your initial assessment. You will also need an Alex course code. You should look for it in your syllabus or ask your instructor for it. You will also need an Alex access code so either have your credit card ready or your Alex access code. The credit card is so you can purchase the access code online if you do not already have one or you can also consider getting your Alex access code from your bookstore. All right, let's continue our process to set up your Alex account. Please go to the website www.aleks.com. Once you are at this website, click on New Student Sign Up Now. Once you are at this website, you want using Alex with her class and put your course code in this box right here. Once you have done that, click on Continue. You should see your course name, the subject, your instructor's name, and your school. Please click Continue. At this point, if you already have an Alex login name, you would click the second option. If this is your first time using Alex, click on the first option and then click Continue. This is where you are going to need your access code. If you already have your 20 character access code that you purchased from your bookstore, enter it right now in this box right here. If you do not have an access code and you're going to purchase it using your credit card, please click on Purchase an Access Code. Once you click on that, you should select the appropriate length for your semester, whether it's 6 weeks, 18 weeks, 40 weeks, 52 weeks. Once you click on the right option, then you are ready to purchase the code. It will tell you how much it will cost you. Now please enter your email address your school information and your billing information and then keep scrolling down and once you're finished with it click on continue. So at the end of the registration process you will be given a login name and password. Please write that down somewhere so that you have it when you need it. This login name and password that you are given is how you will always enter in Alex. So on the original Alex.com page, put in your login name, put in your password, and then click on Login. Now just follow the steps that you see on the screen. So for example, here it says click on Next and you will go through a whole bunch of windows like this that tells you what Alex is about. And to get started, once you click on get started, there will be a little tutorial and you will have boxes like this appear that tell you what all the buttons do on the screen. So for example, here it says this part here is telling you what the main menu is and then you have to click next. Here is telling you notifications show up where the bell is. This will be where you get started. And you can also do your assignments here. And so now you will do your tutorial. So I'll just go through a few tutorial items and the rest you'll continue on your own. 
So in the Alex tutorial, they are showing you how to enter answers into Alex. And now just follow the directions that are on the screen. So you will enter 14. And so now I'm just going to follow those. You can see what they're asking us to do. And you can see a window appears for me to guide me through my next step. So continue in this manner and complete the tutorial. Once you're finished with the tutorial, you will have a message of the following type that says, congratulations, you've completed the tutorial and now you have unlocked your initial knowledge check. And so once you get here and click continue, this is where you're going to start your knowledge check. And what that means is it will be an assessment. So just follow these directions that you see. Stay focused. Don't get distracted. You're going to take an assessment to figure out what you already know so you don't have to remaster those topics. So pause the video here. Get a paper and pencil so that you can write down the questions and the solutions. Don't try to get help from the internet or from other people so that this is an accurate assessment of your knowledge and not somebody else's knowledge because otherwise it will not be an accurate representation of what you know. And then remember there is no time limit so just go ahead and take your time, relax, breathe, and get started on your assessment. You can use the Alex calculator when it appears. A symbol like that will appear. It is OK to click I don't know if you don't know something, because all that means is you will master it later. But if you know something, then go ahead and attempt it, and then submit your answers. So let's go ahead and start knowledge check. And you can see the bar up here. Those are the questions. So it tells you how far you've gotten. If I know the answer to the question, I will answer it. Otherwise, I will click I don't know. So go ahead and finish your assessment. Once you are finished with your initial knowledge check, you will be going through a series of screens like you see here that tells you how Alex works and what the different colors represent and what the different screens represent. So for example, here this is the pie for my course and um, the darker portion means that I've mastered that much material. The lighter portion means that's what I have to learn next. You'll see here this is my whole course and this is how far I have progressed. These are the different sections and depending on what course you are in, the number of topics will vary and these headings for the different sections will also vary depending on what course you are in. The course I'm in right now is College Algebra, but depending on what course you are in, the number of topics and the colors and these headings will be different for you. So again, it's telling you the color part of each slice. Dark color means that's what you have mastered. If I click Next, it will tell me the gray shows what I still have to learn. And so now click Continue. And now you're going to start your personalizing Alex pie. So we're going to see next. Select a slice and that tells you more information. It says this is the slice. This is how many topics are in there. This is what I know. And on the bottom here, I'm going to scroll down just a little bit so you can see Alex pie details. There's a calendar, start my path. And so go ahead and click on Start My Path. And you see here how you've unlocked Learning Path. Go to your timeline. Here's the timeline. I have 23 topics left. This is my personal timeline. Tells me how many topics I learn per day and how I move forward. And then see what you're working towards, including due dates. And get a quick picture of your week by week. And so we're all set now, and so let's go start our work. This is important because this is where you'll be spending most of your time meeting objective deadlines.
click next click got it so anytime you open up topics like that explanation will show you how the problem can be done if you click on that little triangle these are all the topics you can see that you can work on at any given moment if you click on the topic it will show up and if you think you want to work on it click start and here is the question so go ahead and work on it or choose a different topic and again you can see these are all topics objective one click on the objective and you will see all the different objectives in the semester if I click objective two you have all those topics and these are locked topics which means I can't work on them until I've completed objective one first and so if I click on that upper symbol there which is the home button it will take me back home that symbol on the side with the mail symbol is how I can email my instructor and so this is where you can type your message the page that you were reading for explanation if you scroll down you will see how it is attached as a page so your instructor will see that page and then you can type in your message and explain where you were stuck give a subject heading and then send so we're not going to do that now so I'm just going to um, cancel this and get out of this uh, message center and go back to my workstation I can click explain button that will tell me how to do the problem right there it's like opening a page in a textbook so click the next button and skip button and work on the problem or choose a different problem if I click on the home button you will go back to your original home page there are no assignments here you can check your calendar uh, right now I have nothing there you can go by week or by two weeks or by month so you get a glance of what due dates are you can also filter it by homework or objectives so you can see what deadlines are appearing soon these tabs on the left side tell you all the things that are available to you for example in the instructor resources maybe your instructor has uh, videos or handouts and you can click on them and open and then uh, watch them and then get back to your home page to continue your work and then continue your work by doing what we just were in your objective five pieces alright go ahead and have fun